Hello, everyone, and welcome. I'm so glad to have with me today Dr. Greg Goggins. Uh, first of all, I appreciate you taking the time. You are super busy out there, so thank you for talking with me. Thank you for coming. My pleasure. <laughs> and the first time I heard of uh, Fender and Goggins was in this past year's Christmas parade. I saw that good-looking vehicle coming through the parade with all those smiling faces, and it was hard not to tell uh, what kind of business you were in. Absolutely. So those vehicles get seen, don't they? Absolutely. Those are called our ortho taxis. Uh -huh. And a little bit about the ortho taxis, in fact, it's sort of an idea that, you know, a lot of parents, a lot of families have both parents that work. Mm -hmm. A lot of families are just one parent family. Mm -hmm. And it's extremely difficult for them to get off work. Mm -hmm. And so what we do is we offer a service of actually picking their children up at school. Wow. <laughs> and so what we do, we coordinate with the schools, we coordinate with the parents, obviously. They give us permission, and we go and pick the child up from school. Mm -hmm. We bring them for their appointment, and once we get through, because we don't want the parents to be left out. Mm -hmm. So once we get through with the appointment, we immediately text the parent exactly what we've done that day hmm. to see if there's any questions. And also now a benefit that these kids love is that if they miss lunch, we also feed them lunch. My goodness. Whether it's y'all hear all this. Whether it's hamburgers <laughs> or pizza or whatever, mm -hmm. we also feed them lunch if they miss lunch at school. And we appreciate the schools. Uh, the schools have to be cooperative with this, and they are always very helpful. But you'd be surprised. I can tell you stories, of, especially of single parents, that will come in and we'll, they'll realize what we're offering and how emotional they'll get because they'll say, I couldn't figure out how I was going to get my child to these appointments. Mm -hmm. And for some, they don't need the ortho taxi, but for some, it is a wonderful benefit, and it's fun, and the kids have fun with it. And things have come a long way since I had braces in the 70s. Uh, Mom and Dad had to take me to Macon. We didn't have an orthodontist in right. Dublin, but the good thing, I got to eat at Crystal every month when we went. So, <laughs> and that was a treat back then, back when you're 15 years old, getting to go to Macon like that. But uh, braces have changed in so many ways, but tell me before we get into that, what got you into orthodontics? Well, I was, to be honest with you, I wanted to play professional baseball for a living. Okay. <laughs> but I soon found out once I got to college playing ball, I wasn't quite as good as I thought I was. <laughs> so I decided I better find something else to do to make a living, and it just so happened that I knew some people, and I decided that I want to be a dentist, and once I got into dental school, I realized that, hey, maybe I want to do something else. Uh, and once we got through, then I was fortunate enough to be able to specialize in orthodontics. And it's the best job there is. I can actually say, people say, well, when are you going to retire? And I'm going to say, I never will because I absolutely enjoy it. Yeah, that's great. Uh, how many people can say that they love going to work every day? Mm -hmm. I love it. That's more than half the battle. Isn't I love it. it. Absolutely yeah. love it. What brought you to Dublin? Well, it is such a great opportunity. We have offices, uh, our home office is in Douglas, Georgia, mm -hmm. and, but we have offices in Tifton and in Douglas and Baxley and in Vidalia. Well, Dr. Myers, uh, who has had a practice here for quite a long time, a great practice, he was getting to the point where he was ready to retire. Mm -hmm. And, you know, things just usually work out for the best. And we got together, and it just turned out that it was a good fit, and we decided that we want to come to Dublin. Dublin's a great town. Mm -hmm. You know, you're always looking for a, a business opportunity, and Dublin's a great town. But one of the things that's really good about Dublin is that the people of Dublin are very fortunate. There's a lot of great dentists here, mm -hmm. a lot of great dentists Amen. here. And it's very important that... As we, because the patients are on loan to us, mm -hmm. uh, they're really on loan to us to straighten their teeth, and they still need to go back and see their dentist. And Dublin has a lot of great dentists, and so it's a great business opportunity. A lot of great folks, great dentists, and it's just a no-brainer. It's a great place to be. You do a lot of volunteering, a lot of work in your church. Why is that important? To you? Well, I've been very blessed. I've been very blessed with wonderful children. I've uh, been blessed with a great family, uh, obviously been blessed with a great profession, uh, and it's just not me. I mean, the good Lord has blessed me tremendously, and so to much is given, much is expected, mm -hmm. yeah. and with that, I've just always been very active in my community. Mm -hmm. We talked about 
way brace have changed over the many years, but uh, what kind of preparation does someone have to do to get braces these days? Well, usually they will come to us through their dentist. And usually the dentist will look and say, I think it's time for Susie to go see the orthodontist. But mostly what they have to do is make sure they don't have any cavities, they want their teeth clean, and all of that be prepared before they see us so that when they see us, we're ready to get started. And uh, also, uh, what determines who needs braces? Well, it determines basically on uh, their bite. It depends on the crowding or spacing of their teeth. Some of it is cosmetic for the patient. Some of it is actually uh, more uh, mechanical or the, the bite that's healthier for the teeth. Okay. And uh, I know when I got braces years ago, you had a mouth full of metal. I see kids now, I don't even know they have braces. So what's going on? There's so many different kinds. Well, it seems the like. braces have gotten smaller, as with everything, technology has improved mm -hmm. health care, he technology has improved everything, uh, from golf clubs to baseball bats, you name it. Thank goodness. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and so with that, the, the technology of wires and braces have improved so much that the forces are so much lighter. Mm -hmm. We actually now have what you call Invisalign, whether it's use the clear plastic aligners uh, to straighten teeth where you actually don't have to wear braces. And which is the benefit of that is that you can take them out to brush, you can take them out to eat, and we can do the same thing with that as we can with braces, And but you just have to have a lot of cooperation. So it's good for some and not good for others. How does braces affect your lifestyle? The beauty of that, and when I say I enjoy coming to work every day, you take the, those that I enjoy the most that walk in are the ones that are ashamed of their smile, their personality, they're a little timid, and by the time we get through, you can't keep them quiet, they're <laughs> smiling all the time, it's changed their lives. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter what age, it can really transform someone's life, give them uh, their more confidence in themselves, and that's the beauty that I get to see. And, of course, my grandson, you just put braces on him recently, and he loves, he's very athletic, football, baseball. Does it change a kid like that? Can they still continue to play Absolutely. sports? Absolutely. We want them to wear a mouthpiece no matter mm -hmm. what. And with the braces in, it's, it helps support the teeth mm -hmm. or the Invisalign. It's just that they need to wear a mouthpiece to keep the braces or whatever from cutting them if they get hit. But with all athletes, we want them to wear mouthpieces regardless. Oh, yeah. but, it, but it shouldn't stop them from doing any, from wrestling, football, you name it. Okay. And what kind of sports mouth guard would you recommend? Well, we have one that we give them. But we always tell them, if this isn't comfortable, if this is something you don't like, go to your sports store and, and find one that you find comfortable. What about wisdom teeth? Wisdom teeth is... We don't deal with wisdom teeth until someone, we're through with braces. Uh, in that once they're through with braces, we look at the wisdom teeth and we decide whether or not they need to be removed. Are there going to cause future problems with the teeth? Are there possible problems with cysts forming around them? Are they going to be able to keep them clean? It really is a judgment call whether or not they need to be removed or not. And obviously, you know, Dublin is a growing community. We Absolutely. have people here moving here every day, and people come here with their kids that already have braces. Now, what do you do about that? They're in the middle of treatment somewhere else. It is very simple. People, this is a transient community as well as Atlanta or anywhere. Mm -hmm. People are moving in and out because of jobs. And what we do, we actually have a transfer form by the American Association of Orthodontics. Uh, the orthodontist that was treating that patient fills the form out, exactly what's going on, the pictures and so forth. They come to our office, and we want to make it a seamless change where we continue to treat that patient. And just as one that's in our office that transfers somewhere else, we do the same for that orthodontist and family. You're just making it too easy for our viewers here, Doctor. This is... I'm telling you, this... <laughs> we love it. Okay, I saved the hard question for last now. What's last that? question. Do you have payment plans... And also, does uh, dental insurance cover braces? We absolutely have payment plans. And we have some wonderful what we call treatment coordinators. 
and basically I and Dr. Fender, and we have Dr. Guest now. Okay. Um, we try, I try, we try to stay out of the money part. Mm -hmm. I want to love on the people, straighten the teeth, mm -hmm. and we have wonderful treatment coordinators that go over the financial part, but we have payment plans where there's no interest, whether it's 24 months, 36 months, it just depends. Mm -hmm. And yes, many insurance companies or many insurance carriers include orthodontics in that. Okay, well, great job. I appreciate you. And like I said, when we started, you're very busy out here. I see a lot of smiling faces in the waiting room. So obviously something's going right. And come to find out, you're actually feeding them. So absolutely, <laughs> that, that's the way to get to all of them, especially uh, at church. We're going to eat all the time, aren't we? That's a good part of it. <laughs> That's exactly right. Okay, Dr. Greg Goggins here at Fender and Goggins. We're on Hillcrest Parkway. The number's right there on the screen. If they can help you in any way, you just pick up the phone and call that number you're looking at right there. Great people. You heard all the advantages of coming here. Fender and Goggins, thank you so much for joining us today. There's a story behind every smile. Orthodontics, where smiles happen and lives change. Text braces to 313131 or call us at 888 Fender 4.